Welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. We haven't been in here for a long time. In fact, I can't actually remember the last time we did something like this. However, here we are. So, hi. And what are we doing here? Stirring up some magic. So, it's got to that time of year where my skin decides it needs something a little bit more. Uh, it's beginning to get a bit more damp because we live in in the UK so it's damp so yeah it's getting a bit more damp it's also getting colder which means that my skin decides that it needs something a little bit more to look after it which is fair enough you know we all like a little bit of care and attention so I've done it again fortunately I've done it again because obviously some of this is a bit noisy and also takes a bit of time. So you wouldn't want to see the whole thing and you certainly wouldn't want to listen to me doing the mixing. But I'm here because I want to give you two options. Now the option that I usually go for is the one that I've done. And that's because I love making lotions and potions. It's one of my happy places as a witch. I love opening up my cupboards and letting my intuition a run riot on what I think will be useful. So what I made last year is not the same as what I've made this year. Um, the year before I didn't actually make because I wasn't very well, which is why I'm giving you two options because I had to actually seriously think about what I was doing two years ago. Um, and last year I completely forgot to do this. So, and the year before that, and the year before that. So anyway, I knew that my skin needed something a bit more. So two years ago, when I didn't do my full thing that I'm gonna sh show you bits of, because obviously, as I say, I've done it, because it takes a long time and etc. But what I did a couple of years ago was I, because I wasn't well, I had to, and I had to do it online, so I know that it's, it's possible to do it. I looked online for a, moisturizer now this can be for your face it can be for your body it can be for, for you so you can have different ones if you wish i'm just giving you a brief outline of what i did and I, I i literally so i grounded and centered myself put out that i needed something that i could use going forward over, over the winter months this this would have been around this time actually two years ago September, middle to end of September. Something popped out. I purchased it, I got it. I was actually very pleased with it. What I then did was I actually then gave it my intention. So to do that, what I did was I lit a candle, grounded and centered myself, told the item what I was hoping to gain from using it. And then opened said item and then I spoke my intention into it, sealed it back up, sat with it, with my hands around it. I think on, on that occasion I actually let the candle burn down, it was only the, one little spell candle so they're only about 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, but yeah, so you can do that. You don't need to go through the whole ingredients and making it yourself you can actually choose one that feels right for you and put your intention into it. However, my usual chosen way of working is if I can from scratch. So I opened up my cupboards yesterday with this intention and outlet lavender from my garden I dried and rose petals from the garden that had dried and this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky there is a blog to go along with this I've said it in that as well because I other than the oils and the butter um, I didn't measure anything so I have one of these little gadgets I'm lucky enough that I've got one of those you can just use she says not having got one out well but it's got stuff in it you can just use a heat proof bowl over a saucepan 
that contains simmering water and that just sits on there if you're using a bowl and the bowl just sits on as well. So I filled this literally to about a centimetre, centimetre and a half from the top with the dried lavender and rose petals. I then tipped on the oil and I'd chosen yesterday grapeseed oil. Don't know why, it was just the one, I, it was, the choices were olive oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil and grapeseed oil and it was grapeseed that won. Don't know why, that's just how it felt needed to be done for this year. So literally just poured the grapeseed oil in until it just covered the dried ingredients and then set it on the simmering water on the stove um, and I tend to go by what it looks like so when so you've got the purple of the lavender and you've got they, they were red lovely dark red rose petals so when they had gone dark I figured it was done it's my best description go with your own intuition for me it takes somewhere between an hour to two hours i think yesterday evening it was about an hour and 20 minutes but go with your intuition and what it looks like because if you've got older things they might take less or more time mine was all fresh from this summer so whether that you know that's got something to do with it but yeah with at the end of an hour and 20 minutes of simmering i thought this is done Then, what would I want to do is do that and this. So, you then get a sieve, a normal sieve. Put a muslin in, tip, obviously have a bowl underneath. Um, tip the mixture through and just let it drip through. Um, if you're doing it in a hurry, then obviously you can squeeze the muslin, but be prepared that it's still going to be hot. You need to let it cool down a bit. I tend to just leave it to do its stuff overnight so that that's now been, as you can see, washed. And um, I now have a bottle. Now, this I think this is a 100 ml bottle. So I've got a 100 ml still of the oil. So this is, as you can see, I have labelled it rose and lavender grapeseed oil. 29th of the 9th, 24. Because 50 mils, now this is where I can tell you the measurements. So 50 mils of that oil went into this bowl. So this morning, what I've done is I had a, so again, opened up the cupboards. I had avocado oil, uh, avocado butter, almond butter and shea butter. So I just looked at them and said, well, now, which one of you would like to play this year? And the shea butter jumped out. So the shea butter, that was, it was a jar and it had 120 grams. So I know that. So 120 grams to 50 mils of my oil. So this morning, the butter went in my little gadget. I think Bain, Bain, Bain Marie is the proper name for it, but yeah. So I went in my little gadget, melts very quickly. The butters melt, melt very quickly, fortunately. So that then all got mixed up together. It's where it looks just like an oil once you've done that. Then you have to leave it to cool. You need it to cool to room temperature or just slightly below. And then you'll whisk it. And I'll do a quick... it's already setting quite hard so when you first whisk it it'll look very much like whipped cream as you can see now because it's setting it's going that little bit harder but it's the, that, that whisking makes such a difference you can just tip it straight out and cool it as it is it'll be more like a balm type consistency 
but by whisking it you get this beautiful i don't know if you can see that that beautiful creamy really rich consistency which i've just managed to spread all, some all over my wooden doors i'm sure you can do them too much help. um but yeah and then what i'm going to do these jars i have sterilized i've got two i think that should be enough for what i've got here um and the smell from this the mixture of lavender and rose is absolutely amazing so yeah so now i'm going to spoon my mixture out into these but before i do that i will tell you the magical properties so i'm just going to get this up do bear with me one second while i do this because i haven't i can't remember uh what i can say is that the information came from the world of magical herbs plants and herbs and the world of magical food by our lovely rachel so rose as i say i did it first i let the plant and everything else talk to me first then i looked this up so that i could talk to you and do the blog so rose um, psychic powers healing protection luck peace knowledge, dreams, friendship, cycles of life and abundance. Lavender, happiness, peace, love, protection, sleep, clarity, strength. The grapeseed oil, abundance, spirituality, happiness and conviviality. And the shea butter, healing, nurturing, abundance, protection, love, intuition and psychic powers. What a great combination. And that was, as I say, I only looked at these just before I came to do this, um, because obviously now I'm going to do a blog to go along with it. So I needed the information just while I grabbed the books. But yeah, um, and that was literally just me looking in my cupboard and going, OK, who wants to come and play today? Very happy with my cream. I'm now going to pot it up. I won't keep you while I do that because it could get messy. One of the really good things about doing this, and I'm just going to be naughty and take some places while you're doing all of this you can actually with the leftovers put it on and just rub it in and i don't know if you're going to be able to see that I was that was only a about a size for pea so obviously it's probably a little bit more than i needed for the back of my hand but can you see how that has just sunk in beautifully very happy with my little concoction i hope this has been useful hope you like it make a comment always lovely to hear people's comments and, and or to see people's comments about what's going on uh if you've got any other ideas um i can either say yes or no depending on whether i can do them or not but yeah if you've got anything that you'd like to see me try and do please let me know and i will see you next time